someone I spoke with say these Southland Park gaming and racing commercials are eye grabbers. Their competitors in Tunica think so too, but say Southland may have crossed the line. <laughs> It'll cost you a kidney if you gamble with the competition. All is fair in love and war. I mean, it's a competitive industry. That's the message Southland Park Gaming and Racing is driving home. If you take that extra drive to Tunica, anything can happen. Anything. Like getting chased by a chainsaw killer after your car breaks down on the way to Tunica. Ah! Or how about a guy getting beat up in jail after getting a speeding ticket from a cop also on the way to Tunica? You, you got to stand out if you want to get people's attention. And, and we realize some people may not like them, but some of the um, commercials that have always stuck with me are sometimes the commercials I don't like but I remember the brand. Tunica Convention and Visitors Bureau CEO Webster Franklin says competition is good, but Southland may have crossed the line. I find it interesting they can't uh, show um, what makes them successful. I also think um, that, uh, you know, it's a shame that they have to uh, not talk about themselves and uh, I think everyone in the Memphis market understands that. Those who've seen the commercials? I liked it. At first I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a show or something. It was sort of mysterious and intriguing, you know, the way it started out. Yeah, it's, it's catchy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like I said, it's better than going south. But there are some who didn't like it, like Barbara Wilson Thompson. She wrote on Southland's Facebook page, quote, As much as I like Southland, the new commercials are awful. You've really stepped over the line on these. Now, these commercials come during a time when revenue is down in Tunica. Don't think these commercials will go away either, Southland says. They plan on releasing new ones in the coming week. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Jackie Orozco, ABC 24 News.